this fourth set. And then he's looked a little more threatening than his opponent in terms of breaking through. But he hasn't been able to do so. And how often do we see it in a match when you get to that critical stage of a set that the pressure tells? Before you know it, you're the one down the break. His fortunes haven't been too good over the last hour and a half. We'll be hoping to change them now. Clutch second serve right to the line. Yeah, 110 miles an hour. So he gave it that little extra nudge, enough to throw off the key for return. Fifteen all. Ferocious return there from Kiefer. Yeah, the German is just lurking about. He's hanging around waiting or at least trying to make something happen he's a dangerous shot maker <laughs> Hammond has served superbly over the last couple of sets over 70 percent in that third set he's up again in the 70s in this fourth set shot make you are if you have that little time all the time very difficult to produce anything three times in this set Hammond's managed to finish the service games with an ace and this is a much more conventional set by both men holding on to their serves yeah neither man really able to make an impression Hedman had the one break point on Kiefer's serve in the fifth game. And here's a look at just how high that toss is. So that's Hendon, excuse me, reaching up nicely on that one. As Hendon times it better, he reaches that ball more at the top of the toss. Better angle down in the box. I do have some sympathy for Keith here because the first one we saw on the replay, well, that one does look like a football, to be fair. Yeah, it looks as if the toe may have nudged up slightly. See, that's good eyesight from the lines. How do you look at the foot and look at the ball and see when the impact is at the same time? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard enough with the camera. Tough break for Kiefer at the start of this match, start of this game. Will it result in a break for the British number one? Oh, Kiefer venting some of his frustration towards the lineswoman. He's got to be a little bit careful, he's already got a code violation. Two foot faults early in the match. Made a gesture towards the uh, linesman then, which Wayne McEwen picked up.
2015. Well, Kiefer yet to get a first serve in in this game, and he's ahead 30-15. So clearly Henman missing some small chances to again apply some pressure. to find some room up the line. It's probably been his most devastating shot. Maybe falling just a little bit short with the approach. Kiefer able to see the ball in the line. Let's, let's, let's. Thirteenth ace for keeper and Hemman, who's had a stranglehold on this match for pretty much two and a half sets. He's just four points away from being all level again. Conditioning ABS CD player alloy wheels plus a whole lot more. The generously equipped Focus Edge from 10995. Pass it on. Having trouble finding your perfect partner? With hundreds of thousands of cars in Auto Trader every week, you're bound to find yours. The generously equipped Focus Edge from 10995. Take a test drive at your local Ford dealer. Time. Keeper quickly out of his chair after that changeover, eager to get on with it. And good reason to as well. One good returning game would see Keeper take this into a fifth. A deciding set. We're a couple of minutes shy of the three hour mark for this match. Oh, he did all the hard work. Missed the easy one. And this is a point penalty, surely. Well, you'll see he'll launch that one into the upper deck here at Ash Stadium. And he's willing to sacrifice a point to exercise his demons. Remember, he had the code of conduct earlier. The second step is a point. The next would be a game. So he is on thin ice here with Wayne McEwen. And he's obviously done a good job, Keith, in many ways, of keeping his emotions in check in this fourth set. Because it must have been just bubbling under the surface. <laughs> I'd see, well, you don't see guys do that, launch a ball knowing they're going to lose a point. I mean, he really needed to do that badly. Okay. Come to think of it, Mark, he might be taking out the checkbook as well. 
and Dinsel. Might be just the incentive he needs to be able to regroup for this next service game. Again, Hemman finishing a game with an ace. A sport of a different variety, oh, water volleyball. Five all, four set. Tantalizingly close to his first ever appearance in the quarter final at the US Open. sort of conviction that he normally does. Forty-loss. For now, with uh, his fourth ace of the set, Flaky mentally. <laughs> and what was your first clue? Was it that backhand that he tried to produce there? He had some room in this game at 40 love, but you hate to give the impression that you're a bit loose to your opponent. And then we'll take some satisfaction in that. Game two fun. But the German puts the disciplinary worries behind him of oh, the previous game to hold on to his serve and for a second time in this set. Hemmen will have to come out and serve to stay in it. The Champions League is back, and so is Sky's exclusive multi-match choice. Oh, yes! Celtic take on Barcelona and old boy Henrik Larsson. Ranieri's Spanish champions Valencia face Anderlecht. Man United Brilliant goal. are in France to face Lyon, and it's Liverpool versus last season's finalists Monaco. Just four of the 14 games you can see live. The Champions League kicks off September 14th, Sky Sports 2 and Extra. Winner of Top Gear Magazine's Best Coupe Award and What Car's Best Coupe of the Year 2004. The Mazda RX-8 from 20,100 pounds. So, so. Time. Over well, three hours gone, and Hemman potentially just five to ten minutes away from a place in the quarterfinals. So if he can hold on to this service game and take the tiebreaker. 15 long. Go some way towards achieving that aim. Trying to thwart Hemmer's advance. Oh, 
Well, he's a dangerous man. A second serve on the two-handed side. He'll take a swing. That time finding the room down Hedman's line. He's only dropped four points on his serve in this set. Disruption there. Ooh, just getting picked up and interrupted Hemmons with him. His first double of this set, his sixth overall. Keeper getting closer and closer to levelling this contest up. that off. It was a good first volley from him and, and Kiefer ran it down and took a chance. And see how he came over the top of it trying to bring it down. Inches inches from set points. A moment for an overall. That's a great overall by Wayne McEwen. But I'd probably be reacting the same way as Keeper is right now as well. And Kiefer has to be careful here. Remember, he already has had a point penalty. The next would be a game. But I'm not sure why he's having a go at the linesman, because the linesman actually called it out. It was Wayne McEwen that made the overall. He doesn't know who to blame for his <laughs> stolemma. Must feel as though the world is against him, Nicholas Kiefer. Six days old, set Hemman again finding the line. The inconclusive proof. That one will tell you right to the line. Kiefer, well, he's not seeing anything now, is he? Well, it's just beginning to pile up, and he's. He will have to deal with this disappointment. There's not much more you can do about it. And he's looking for someone to vent his wrath to. I'll tell you, the wisest thing would be to <laughs> direct it squarely at the man across the net. Let's see if Keeper can get it together. So the second tiebreaker of the match. Thomas Hogstead, unflappable. Unlike his player. Well, he'll be a little embarrassed when he looks back at this tape after he's seen the uh, highlight reel of that call. But as Tim Hemmer said in the last 
press conference when asked about his uh, frustrations directed towards the umpire. He said, well, I had to blame somebody for the way I was playing. <laughs> That's right. Anyone but me. Hemmons' turn now to complain about the call. 2-0. FIFA. German strikes early in this fourth set tiebreak. But that's out. Or is it? You have to play that as good. That's almost too close to call out. Oh, Hemman at his absolute best, right to the limit. Well, he needed to be sharp. The German's in a winning position, but Hemman intercepts the pass, anticipating the cross court. What a play. May have saved him the set and the match. By much. Three one. FIFA. Smart play this by Kiefer. Made sure he got the ball down below the net height. Maybe just taking his eye off the ball or deciding whether it was going to go in or not. Well, it's an awkward volley, isn't it, when it's up high and out wide. Just mistiming it and perhaps not picking up the ball in the crowd or in the sun. Did well off the top of the tape. Kiefer again has got that sort of despairing look about him. And he needs to try and focus on some positives and just look at the scoreboard in this tiebreak. Now this first point after the change of sides, just so massive for Tim Henry. You have to stay within reach. If he can hold this point, he would have two chances to get one point on the German serve to get back to even. A bit like a chess match, you're looking a few moves ahead, concentrating on the moment, obviously. who was up in the first set tiebreaker and eventually got to close it out Keep and he's got another lead here and a healthy one it is as well two mini breaks and two good service points here from Nicholas Kiefer we'll see him take this match into a fifth set
what a point. Incredible stuff from both players. Well, that ovation says it all. Look at this shot, Henman having to produce. Five, three. Oh, yeah. What a play. And this match has had absolutely everything in it. Swings in momentum, one player winning, then the other. Drama with Kiefer barely hanging on to his sanity at times. The only thing it hasn't had is a fifth set. And it's something that Hemant and Paul Anacone would dearly love to avoid. But it's only going to be avoided if Hemant can win the next three points in a row. the trilogy of points that Hemmer needs to win. First two, hopefully a little easier on his serve. There it is. Nicholas Keeper takes his second tiebreak of the match. And Hemman, who's been so dominant for so long, is going to have to do it the hard way for the third time in this tournament. And Germany have equalised. It's two all. Back to Arthur Ashe Court. Shortly, let's just update you on what's going on on the Louis Armstrong courts, where Olivier Roggers and Dominic Probati are in action. The winner of that match and Armstrong to play the winner of the match here on Ash in the quarterfinals on Wednesday. First set between Roggers and Probati. The Belgian 5-2 up in the first set. Just the one break. Roggers nearest the camera. So the winner of that match will play the winner of our match on the Arthur Ashe Court. If you'd like to pop over to Armstrong, you can do that if you're a digital viewer by pressing the red button on your remote control. Let's go back to Arthur Ashe, though. Nice little dink from Rockers that I think he just missed. So two sets apiece. Time to get comfy in your armchairs, pour yourself a stiff drink if you're old enough, and settle back for a fifth and final set of Kiefer and Hemman. Here's Leaf and Mark. Just uncorking a bottle as you speak. Four sets, <clears throat> Hemman so close, and again, you think back to the break point he had in the fourth set where Kiefer got lucky off the bottom of the frame over Hemman's head. And we could well be celebrating Hemman's 30th birthday with him right now with a victory into the quarterfinals of the US Open for the very first time in his career after 10, after nine previous visits. But it's Kiefer who managed to salvage something from that set right on the brink in every sense of the word in every aspect of this game as well but Kiefer managed to come through and him and now with a change of socks and a change of shoes it's been hard work for the British number one in this tournament so far he's gone to five sets twice already the previous match prevailing against Michael Tabara it's been a lot easier for Kiefer to reach this stage of the tournament yet to lose a set before this match and it's just remarkable Kiefer really showing just how dangerous he is he's such a shot maker although he has been a bit fragile mentally it's his game that rescues him it's not always the tactics, the strategy, it's just the ability to hit big shots at the right times. And that's what the Germans done. Two tiebreakers 
and we are dead even. It doesn't matter how you win them. It's sort of the story for Kiefer today. Had been dominating for two sets. But how you win them doesn't matter.